flew down from Kent's place today about three and a half hours south to see a famous place for bears. There should be bears all the way along a small creek. But um, when we arrived there, it was too windy to land. So we didn't go in there and decided to sleep out here on this beautiful river bank. We are looking for the bear tracks that we've seen from the air and I think... Wow. No, it's not bear. Is it? It's a moose. But they're big. Look at this. He has the same size like Lena has. At least it's not a bear. I'm happy it's not a bear. I don't like bears so much. Is Ken there? Just wanted to write, to ask him something about the wind down here. Okay, nice. Thanks for that. Now this was Thomas on the phone. And he told me that the wind is gonna go down a little bit tomorrow morning. Right now it's blowing around 20 to 27 miles per hour. Just right over there. This is why we landed here on a big place. gonna stay here for the night but this is not good to get the water you have to get water you have the water filter here this thing is quite <laughs> sticky here if you get into the sticky stuff it can suck you in and you can flip over the plane really is this from a bear you can see the toes they look a little bit older huh yeah older Water washed them away, but look here. One, two, three, four, five. Big guy. Big guy. <laughs> there are many bears. Uh oh. Bear uh oh. Uh oh, in the middle of bear country here. Look at this huge bear track here. Oh, this is a crazy place. We've just found something else, which is quite exciting. You know what this is? This is a wolf track. Bear tracks, wolf tracks, moose tracks. All those animals are way bigger than we are. I'm not scared. We'll be fine. Coming over to us. <laughs> um. This bear just lost his kids. Come on, find them. She got her kids back. Hey, bear! Hey!
I think we're right on the bear trail here. I know it might sound stupid, but we've decided to move the tent a little bit further up the river because the bear encounter here, <laughs> which was not an encounter, it was a nice meeting with the bear. It was just right here and uh, we saw all the tracks going by just right here. So we were thinking that this is a place where many bears will pass by and just to feel co more comfortable we're sleeping, we're going to move a little bit up the river, uh, a little bit higher terrain. Let's see what we find. Let's go! and it's perfect. I can't believe this. <laughs> this is the most beautiful sunset I've ever seen in my life. Into this valley and it was just amazing huge huge valley quite easy to land to find a landing spot and we think that there are no bears right here so we can sleep very comfortable and yeah it was an exciting day I'm, I'm quite tired Me too. good night morning it was yesterday night a beautiful place until we went to bed but then it became a really stressful night because the wind was really gusty and very strong so I had to get up in the middle of the night and put those things in some tie downs that I can bring and like I can hammer them into the ground here and then fix the plane like this a little bit at least. It's not really strong, but it helps a little bit. So the plane wasn't shaking that much anymore. And then of course we couldn't sleep very well in the beginning because the tent was shaking like crazy. Finally, at about two o'clock in the night, the wind stopped and now it's that calm. Very beautiful, beautiful day. Really nice. This is called the Valley of 10,000 Smokes and it's called like that because this is all kinds of volcanoes here and they erupted not too long ago so this is covered with ash basically this valley this is why it's also very easy to land around here you can see on the ground there's only those really light weight stones like they're nothing they weigh like nothing because it's all like filled with air stones like real lava stones as well Just on the way back from the Valley of 10,000 Smokes up north to Iliamna to get some fuel for the way back and then we saw something really cool here. Bear trails. Those bears obviously take the same trail every year and it's a beautiful spot to land here. Perfect little slope and also here on this side so I thought we can just put the plane down. Every year the bears take the same steps along this ridge here. Huge steps they're taking. 
So the bears come up this from the lake down there and they want to cross this ridge. So they come up along the ridge here and then they come here, hike along the valley, uh, along the ridge here. Oh, there's some bear poop. I think the bears got afraid of the ridge falling down, so they made other steps there. This is a good example to see how big the steps are. <laughs> After a short bear watching stop on top of the mountain, uh, we went down to Eliamna to get quite a bit of fuel to make it back to Ken. When we came out to the sea to head north, we flew by Augustine Volcano, just over there. It's just an island which is a volcano, it looks really cool. I would love to go there and go ski touring in the winter, but it's quite far so. And now we just came here to this beach and had our lunch, spaghetti. And today is such a beautiful day, you can see almost everything. To end those two days of adventure here, we thought we'd do it in style and have a good dinner in Talkeetna. Flew all the way down past Aliamna to the valley of 10,000 smokes. We saw bears, we saw perfect sunset, we saw everything basically. Streams full of fish. Streams full of fish. Now we're thinking to just have a good dinner, then fly home and have a good rest in our cabin. So that's it for now, here in Alaska. My plane is parked and I'm going home to Austria. That was two and a half really cool weeks flying out here. The weather wasn't perfect perfect but there were a couple of very good days as well and it's just always cool to be here and fly this machine. When I see this thing again, it will be quite a bit rebuilt already, probably. I'm trying to get some money uh, together for a big trip. And first thing I have to do is make this machine ready to go on this trip. So a couple of things have to be changed. A couple of things have to be rebuilt. Different color, probably, probably hopefully some logos, some sponsors on it. And then I will go on a big trip. That's the plan. And this machine will make it happen. I can land in such cool places, stop there, camp there, climb a mountain and go on. I'll leave it here. Ken is taking care of it. And that's it for this trip. See you soon.